Um, I just, I love that Miriam, Miriam didn't even really know that she needed to come to, to the Pilates studio, did you? <laughs> yeah, because she's like, no, I did not. Because she actually went down to our sister facility, or our brother's facility, whatever you want to call it, Crossroads Boot Camp, and wasn't too cool, cool about that, right? Well, no, it was a tire. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to flip no tire. <laughs> they have a monster tire down there. And so it looks pretty cool. It, it's pretty intimidating when you go in there. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty hardcore. So I have one of my college roommate goes down there, and so she said, you need to come, you need to come. And so... I walked in there and I was like, this is not gonna work. <laughs> so, and you know, it's the whole story behind my quest to, to reduce size or whatever, but I walked out of there pretty discouraged, but before I left, Scott said, well, you know, I have another business, you know, partner and they have a Pilates studio. And my history when I was younger is in dance. I dance my parents paid a lot of money for dance lessons. So, I rolled it around in my mind, but I had a, my college roommate and I, we spar a lot. And so I called her and I said, you must be crazy. You sent me down there. You know I can't do all that stuff. <laughs> and so she says, well, no, go outside. You know, just remember when you were little, when you went outside, you read around. And I said, I didn't do that. I didn't sweat. <laughs> no sweat. So she said, you know, like, you know, when you play kickball and you did all the run, I didn't do all that. I played Barbie dolls. <laughs> So I was sitting in the car and I'm screaming at her. And she goes, you know, when you go, I didn't do all of that, girl. And so I said, and it was a light bulb moment. I spent the last 20 some years paying money after money after money. And I thought I've been doing the wrong thing. I'm a girl. <laughs> and so I called him back and I said, well, where is it at? Well, I worked down at KU and he said, it's right down there on the corner. And I thought, okay, I'll go check them out. And from the moment I walked in here, and that's what I wrote in the essay, I felt at home. And as you can tell, I'm the only African-American in the room. And so I was pretty intimidated at first. And I was like, OK. Well, I sat over on that side of the room, and she said, pick coaches. And so you know, you can pick a coach. And I thought, I don't know anybody. <laughs> so I'm like, but I'm going to do this. So the first, the, the first coach I had, I picked her because she came to me first. And by you know, circumstances, I ended up with Corby. And Corby and I connected, but I can honestly say I have never felt more at home with anything. And just to change things, I wrote in my essay, my refrigerator's empty, but it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Greek yogurt. I was eating on almonds and raisins last night. And so my numbers weren't that great, but the total person in my head who I am, I went to a Christmas party last night and they had the little beanie weenies. I was like, that's a lot of grease. <laughs> and so I, I, I know this, when you have, nothing happens by circle, happenstance, but I just know when they say talk about a life-changing experience, it really has been a life-changing experience. Um, this is kind of like my little secret hideaway. <laughs> um, I don't know hardly anybody here, but I think I've never felt, felt more included in a warm atmosphere. And I fell in love with Tina. <laughs> yeah. We fell in love with each other. I love her personality. I love her humor. And I just, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's a changing experience, you know. And, the, and I'm so dentsy sometimes. And Corby will tell you this. I thought we were competing for the coaches to win the trip. <laughs> <laughs> they wish. <laughs> so by the third meeting, I felt so bad because I was feeling so bad. And so I told her, I said, well, I know that you want to go to Mexico. So <laughs> and so she just kind of looked at me and she said, well, I'm not competing. This is for you all. I said, oh. <laughs> so anyway, I thank you for this and I will oh, use this. Yeah. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. And I, I just want to say one more thing about Mary. I remember the first day that you came and uh, you were at a workshop, or maybe it was the metabolism, one or what, I can't remember, but I just remember you sitting over the corner and you were a little shy, and I think I said something inappropriate or something, you went, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, you did not just say that. <laughs> you still do that, you still do that. You're... Okay. <laughs>